Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. This week, we'll be showcasing some chilling and disturbing footage that you won't want to miss. Starting off today's video, we have something that's both odd and intriguing at the same time. I mean, what would you do when you were walking in the woods and you came across this? At first glance, you might think that it's an odd-looking deer, but after a few seconds, you're likely to be spooked by the figure. It looks like a deer, yet its features are disproportionate and, quite frankly, disturbing and ungodly. The individual who captured this footage believed he was looking at some mutated or heavily deformed deer. Some even believed he could have been dealing with an otherworldly creature. The logical and non-believers in the supernatural believe that this is nothing more than a decoy. For those unaware, hunters like to create dummy versions of deer whenever they are hunting to attract other deers. Yes, that's a thing, and it does work. But there's no way this could be one of those. Or is there? We want to hear your theories. What do you think this strange creature could be? You think that was disturbing? Well, it pales compared to what we will show you next. What would you say about this trail cam's footage of a man weirdly moving through the forest? On second thought, no, that's definitely not how humans move. If you look closely at the trail cam footage, a figure that resembles a man suddenly emerges from the darkness moving in an unsettling way. He heads to where the trail cam is stationed. I'm sure I'm not the only one who thought he was rocking back and forth unnaturally whilst moving. As the figure, or man, or whatever you might think it is, gets closer, we can see that he's actually moving along the ground on his knees instead of on his feet. Weird. Could it be an otherworldly creature that spawned into ours and is now learning to use the human body, or could it simply be an elaborate plan by someone who knows that the trail cam stationed there simply to try to scare its owner? Personally, I believe that the creature we're seeing in this footage is not of this world because it's very unlikely that someone would go to such lengths to scare the owner of a trail cam in the middle of the night deep in the woods. I highly doubt it. But tell us what you think in the comments section. If you walked into the woods and saw men whiter or paler than usual, you'd surely think that there was something wrong with them. You're even likely to think ghost or a vampire, but what happens when it's not humans or animals that you have seemingly gone white? More specifically, turkeys. Well, there are two types of responses. The first is awe and wonder at the magnificence and uniqueness of these birds, which many might share. Picture this. I'm out exploring these mysterious woods, and suddenly I stumble upon a flock of white turkeys feeding. Can you blame me for a feeling of surge of adrenaline? I certainly think that my life was in danger. The scientific community does not think that anything strange or paranormal is happening here. Instead, they believe the turkeys we are seeing are suffering from an uncommon mutation known as leucism, which is known to result in reduced pigmentation, giving birds white or patchy feathers. This explanation does seem logical, although part of me still wants to embrace the mysterious and paranormal. But what do you think, though? Have you had any experience with birds of this nature? So, I asked ChatGPT a simple question. What are the chances of moss growing into the shape of a gnome? And you know what it said? It said it's almost impossible, but guess what? We've got some mind-blowing footage straight from the woods that defies all odds. A lady was out exploring the woods when she came across this mass of moss shaped like a gnome. Naturally, this caught her attention and she tried to take a closer look. Little did she know that this is where things took an eerie turn. She swore the moss moved and looked at her. Unfortunately, the video doesn't really capture the movement, leaving us desperate for a glimpse of this mysterious moss gnome in action. Could it be that the moss didn't move at all, or the video quality is so poor that we can't spot the subtle movements of the moss? Whatever the case, we can't help but wonder how the moss grew into that shape. Is that a hint that gnomes are actually real? Could she have been exploring an area where they live? Share your thoughts with us as well as any encounters with them in the comments section. This image was posted by a man online. At first glance, it looks like a harmless photo of a tourist capturing and documenting his travels. But look again. Do you see it? There's an ape-like creature just behind the man. As expected, 
Everyone who saw the image couldn't help but draw the man's attention to the creature captured in this photo. He had taken the picture in the Piranha Delta area, and according to him, the particular area he took that picture is known by the locals to have ape-like creatures that are as common as they are elusive in that area. Well, you can imagine the excitement that sparked amongst Bigfoot enthusiasts who were wondering if the elusive creature could be there as well. Well, Bigfoot has been linked to North America. Not many has considered its presence in South America until now. Turns out, that's a mistake, as there was a lot of evidence in South America about the existence of Bigfoot. Early settlers and explorers of the region had encountered strange, hairy, and giant men and named their towns after them, like Patagonia, which is not too far from where the picture was taken. Patagonia had the largest variations of these creatures, which we suspect to be Bigfoot. But let me tell you, these larger variations of the creature are even more elusive. And can you blame them? They are probably Bigfoot after all. Perhaps it's time to unite Bigfoot enthusiasts from around the world in an international Bigfoot convention. Who knows what we might uncover about these mysterious creatures from the various civilizations. Imagine stumbling upon laminated posters of missing persons eerily taped to trees in a secluded and rarely visited part of the woods. How would you know how to react? I know I would panic and quickly get out of there. But against all instincts, the owner of this footage felt an irresistible urge to document the chilling sight, pulling out his camera to capture what lay before him. As he filmed, a wave of fear washed over him gradually realizing that these were not random postings, but deliberate placements by an unknown individual. How recent, he could tell, but he rushed out of the place to get to the police. The police swiftly arrived at the scene, investigating the situation, collecting evidence, and questioning James, the owner of the footage. Surprisingly, they seemed unfazed, dismissing it as a harmless Halloween prank. Given that it was early October, they assumed that it was an extreme Halloween prank or something despite the undeniable reality of the missing persons depicted on the posters. James returned to the area after a few months to investigate the site. In this subsequent return to the area, James made a bone-chilling second discovery. The missing person posters had been replaced with ominous no trespassing notes. This confirmed his suspicions. There was absolutely no way this could have been an elaborate Halloween prank. James could have also sworn that the laminated posters he saw must have been there for months before he discovered the site. To him, coming across them before Halloween was merely a coincidence. But what do you think? Do you think James is making a big deal out of nothing, or could something sinister be going on? Perhaps a serial killer at large in the woods? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Now let's dive back into the captivating world of Bigfoot. Picture this. Residents of Seattle suddenly find themselves haunted by eerie and unexplainable noises echoing from deep within the nearby woods. For those who lived close to the woods, the sounds were nothing short of bone-chilling, striking fear and unease into the hearts of those who dwelled close to the woods. At first, many speculated that these mysterious sounds might be the work of bears. However, this notion was swiftly discarded, as what they were hearing was more ominous and much louder than anything they're accustomed to hearing bears make. What then could be responsible? The answer is in the footage you see currently. If you look closely, you'll see a dark, humanoid, yet ape-like creature trying to get away, knowing that it might have been spotted. Although the residents managed to capture additional footage, it's been heavily zoomed in, adding to the challenge of deciphering the enigmatic figure within. The residents, however, know what they had seen. They understood why the sounds they heard were so ominous. There was a new big boy in town, and his name was Bigfoot. Everyone knows that life in the wild is a survival game. You either do your best to survive or you become someone's family dinner, and this deer knows that too well. At first glance, you'd be forgiven to assuming that the deer we're about to witness has met its untimely demise, but prepare to have your assumptions challenged. Those hunting it got close and realized it was not. Yes, they'd shot it, yes, it was bleeding, and yes, it was down, but it was not yet out. When they got close enough to take pictures and afterwards carry the spoils of their hunt home, the deer sprang up and ran. Could it have been pretending so it was left alone? Could it have been in shock and just jumped up when they got close? Would it even survive at all? 
If you're an experienced hunter and would love to hear your insights on this captivating scenario, join the discussion and share your thoughts with us. When this image was sent to us, I thought we were dealing with a stick bug. That was at least until I took a critical look at the whole image and realized it was neither a stick bug nor the size of one. I've no idea why I thought that because we can see a coyote running away from it. The owner of the trail camera was equally perplexed by the footage. They couldn't make sense of what they were seeing and decided to seek the answers. After conducting extensive research for days, they came up empty-handed. There doesn't seem to be any mythical creature resembling this peculiar being. Could this be an entirely new form of otherworldly creature? Where did it come from? Why is it here? What does it want? And most intriguingly, why is the coyote running? Is this creature a threat to coyotes or does it have a taste for even humans? The truth is, we simply don't know. However, our quest for answers won't cease until we have unraveled this enigma. Rest assured, once we uncover the mystery, we'll dedicate an entire video to it. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, now is the perfect time to join the adventure. Subscribe and make sure to hit that notification bell as well so you'll be the first to know when we upload the exclusive new videos. Returning to our trail cam videos, at first glance, this trail cam capture appears to be an innocent shot of the horizon with a raccoon running around the field. But take a second look and you'll notice something intriguing, an array of lights illuminating the sky. What could those lights possibly be? The owner of the trail camera was just as clueless as everyone else. However, upon sharing the capture with others, a common suspicion emerged. It had to be aliens. The next capture, which shows the lights descending closer to the ground, only solidified this belief among all who witnessed it. But could this be aliens, though? The scientific community, always eager to burst the bubble of paranormal enthusiasts, proposes two explanations. The first is that it could be a satellite, but this hesitation was revised due to the movement of the lights. The second theory suggests that the lights might be cobwebs. Interestingly, other trail cam users tend to agree with the cobwebs theory. But what do you think? Cobwebs or aliens? Let us know in the comments section. If there's one thing the Bigfoot and Sasquatch family hate, it's being caught on camera. But despite their aversion, we've a captivating trail cam capture to show you. Take a close look and you'll notice a blurry image of a white ape-like creature. Now, can you guess where this intriguing image was taken from? It's a challenging one and I doubt anyone got it right. Brace yourself for the surprise. It was actually taken from none other than the city of Portland's official website, portland.gov. But here's the twist. They've refused to disclose the exact location where the trail cam captured this fascinating Bigfoot. The reason? To protect the creature, of course. So what do you think? Could there really be a Bigfoot roaming out there? Or is this all part of an elaborate marketing ploy to lure us to visit Portland? And why is it that whenever anybody captures pictures of Bigfoot or photographs or videos of Bigfoot, the images are always blurry? I'm eager to hear your thoughts. If you're someone who believes that fairies belong solely to the realm of fairy tales, then you might want to rethink that notion after watching this astonishing trail cam footage. Take a good look. Doesn't it resemble a fairy gracefully lifting off? The size seems just about right, and the video doesn't appear to be edited. Even experts seem to agree with this assessment. Could this be the actual first ever real-life footage of a fairy? It's a mind-boggling possibility. However, as usual, the scientific community, the ever-vigilant skeptics, don't seem to share our view. They always find a way to discredit and dampen the excitement of every paranormal discovery we stumble upon. And, well, who can blame them? So what's their explanation this time? According to them, the phenomenon captured in the footage is attributed to a large lunar moth. These creatures are typically green in color, but since the trail cam footage is in black and white, we can't definitively say if it's a lunar moth or not, but it probably is. But here's the big question. Could this be the real deal or a genuine fairy caught on camera? I thoroughly doubt it. It's more likely just a lunar moth, as the scientific community insists. We eagerly await your thoughts and opinions. Share them in the comments section below. Can we call this video a comic relief moment? While it's true that an unexpected animal falling into the water can often be amusing, it becomes challenging to label it as such when we witness the panic and concern of the calf's parents. Even the elephants in the neighboring pen are displaying signs of worry. This footage reveals a side of these magnificent creatures that many don't often get to see. 
Yes, they're large and powerful, but they also possess an incredible level of empathy, an aspect this video perfectly exemplifies. Imagine venturing through the dark and unfamiliar woods at night with the knowledge that a sinister creature is stalking your every move. Now picture lifting your eyes and coming face to face with a chilling sight like this, a distant figure with glowing eyes. I don't know about you, but personally, I made it abundantly clear on this channel that I'm not one to stick around and find out what such a creature looks like or whether it poses a danger. I'm grabbing my belongings and getting the hell out of there without hesitation. The individuals who captured this footage were simply clueless about the creature's identity. Based on the knowledge of mythology and a careful examination of the video, I'm highly convinced that the group in question were being stalked by a spectre. If this entity is indeed a spectre, as my team and I believe, then those who encountered it are incredibly fortunate to have escaped with their lives at all. Would you ever consider bringing your car to a screeching halt in the middle of a highway just before you spotted a shirtless man in the woods from a distance? Personally, I wouldn't take that risk, but the person behind this footage has a different perspective. He believed it was a noble thing to do and without hesitation parked his car, set his camera rolling and embarked on a mission to reach the man. He called out hoping to have an intelligent conversation with the man, but little did he know that his expectations would be shattered in an instant. Hey, how you doing? Uh, oh, uh, just some cruisers, man. That's crazy shit. He's crawling at me like... What's up, dude? The man started moving, but not by walking or any recognizable means. No, the shirtless man crawled towards him, limbs trembling. Like a ghastly zombie from reminiscent nightmares, and also he was contorted. The protagonist, who had gone to offer his help, soon realized that he was but an ordinary man, and just like a thunderbolt, his survival instincts kinked into high gear. With no time to spare, he ran for his dear life, heart pounding, fueled by pure adrenaline. Now, let me pose this question to you. What would you have done in that bone chilling situation? Have you ever had the chance to encounter a skunk ape? If your answer is no, you're definitely not alone. Personally, I hadn't even heard of these creatures until I stumbled upon this incredible trail camp video. Apparently, they're a variation of Bigfoot dwelling deep within the swamps of Florida. Talk about discovering something wild, right? These elusive creatures have a preference for solitude, and they're said to reach a towering height of at least eight feet. If that doesn't scream Bigfoot, well, I don't know what would. The footage you're witnessing was captured nearly a decade ago, adding to the intrigue and mystery surrounding these fascinating beings. Have you ever heard of or encountered a skunk ape before? We're genuinely curious and eager to know your stories. Morse code revolutionized. Morse code revolutionized communication with the invention of the telegraph, but have you ever wondered what forms of communication spirits and otherworldly creatures might use? Up until now, we didn't have an answer, but that all changed when we came across this astonishing trail cam footage. Take a closer look at the footage. What do you see? Notice that ghostly being that fades in and out of reality. Now, take a closer look. There's a second one, too. What if these apparitions aren't just fading in and out randomly? What if each fade in and fade out and the duration of each phase carries a profound meaning? What if it's a form of spiritual Morse code? I know it might sound far-fetched, but consider this. There's so much we still don't understand about the paranormal. And when you watch this footage, there's simply no other way to explain what's happening. It's a mind-boggling mystery begging for explanation. This footage may not have been captured by a trail cam, but let me assure you it's just as intriguing as anything you'd see in the wild. Imagine waking up to find your compound in disarray, with trash scattered everywhere. That's exactly what happened to this family. Curiosity peaked, they turned to their security camera footage for answers, and what they saw left them utterly stunned. At first glance, they thought it was a wild animal, perhaps a bear. But as they closely examined the video, they realized that they were witnessing something far more extraordinary, a wolf with a human-like body emerging from their neighbor's property. What made it even more chilling was the fact that the previous night had been a full moon. Could they be living in the close proximity of an actual werewolf? 
The family couldn't say for sure, but they decided to share the footage online, hoping someone could confirm their suspicions. However, uploading the footage may not have been the best move. Now, if their neighbor truly is a werewolf, he knows that they're onto his trail. Who knows how much longer they have before he decides to act in a peculiar manner. As you watch the footage, I'd like to hear your thoughts. What do you make of this mysterious encounter? Personally, I can't help but feel that uploading the footage may have put the family in greater danger. Normally, rabbits and hares are prey for snakes, which is what makes this footage incredibly captivating. Despite lacking built-in mechanisms to deal with snakes, the rabbits or hare in this video is putting up a fierce defense, determined to keep the snakes away from its territory. It makes you wonder, could there be young ones nearby? Is the brave rabbit or hare doing everything it can to protect its vulnerable offspring from harm? The maternal instincts of these animals can be truly remarkable. Have you witnessed similar behavior in rabbits or hares before? Share your stories in the comments section. Also, can you confirm if it's a hare or a rabbit? I always mix them up. And now we have something utterly cute and heartwarming. Get ready to melt from the sheer adorableness of this video featuring a wolf pup trying to howl. Trust me, it's absolutely irresistible. As you watch this little ball of fur and innocence attempting to mimic the majestic howls of its elders, you can't help but be captivated by its pure cuteness. It's moments like these that remind us of the simple joys and wonders of nature. Sit back, relax, and prepare to have your heart warmed as you witness this endearing sight. Remember to embrace the precious moments of cuteness that make life so incredibly special, and we'll see you in the next one.